Live from the NBC4 studios in high definition, this is NBC4 at 11, where accuracy matters. President Barack Obama put himself in the middle of a racial firestorm. Today, he worked to patch it up. Good evening, everyone. I'm Cabot Ray. The controversy began when the Democrats president responded during his primetime news conference the that the Cambridge Police Department acted example, stupidly in a, the arrest Democrats of a black Harvard professor in his own home. He was a friend of Obama's. Today, the president addressed the media again and changed his tune slightly. I unfortunately... Uh, they gave an impression uh, that I was maligning the Cambridge Police Department or Sergeant Crawley specifically. Uh, and I could have calibrated those words differently. President Obama making those comments, he said, just minutes after getting off the phone with Sergeant James Crowley, a conversation the White House did not call an apology. My impression uh, of him was that he was uh, a outstanding police officer uh, and a good man, and that was confirmed in the phone conversation. And I told him that. The president restated that Sergeant Crowley probably overreacted in the arrest of Harvard professor Henry Louis Gates, but that Gates probably overreacted a little as well. Crowley's African-American partner and the Cambridge Police Department stand behind the officer's action. But Dr. Richard Weinblatt, a former police chief and current director of the Institute of Public Safety at the Central Ohio Technical College, tells me the officer might have done things differently. Whether it be a white officer or a black officer, it doesn't make a difference to me, but it's their job. They're trained to de-escalate and to rise above the fray. I'm not absolving Dr. Gates of what he did. I think he got a little bit heated, right? but that's our job. We deal with belligerent people. Mm -hmm. People have yelled at me tons of time in my career. I walk away. If my lawful duty to investigate is done, and according to his report, it was done, now is the time to leave. President Obama today called the incident a teachable moment and is expected to invite both men to the White House. The charge of disorderly conduct against Dr. Gates has been dropped.